Despite the occasional newspaper article from usually right-leaning sites claiming the exact opposite, it is generally accepted today that electric vehicles are better for the planet than internal combustion engine vehicles, even in places where some of the power generated to run them comes from oil or coal-fired power stations. Even taking into account the well-to-wheel analysis of all the materials used to produce electric vehicle battery packs, Electric vehicles are, in their lifetime, responsible for less carbon dioxide and other greenhouse emission gases than their internal combustion engine counterparts. And since electrical grids around the world are getting cleaner and cleaner all the time, so too are electric cars. But while electric cars can actually get cleaner as they age, there's something of an elephant in the room that we, as the plug-in world, have yet to address. Electric car longevity. I'm not talking about how sustainable it is for electric cars to be made or driven. I'm talking about the challenges of keeping older electric cars on the road and what's needed to make sure that electric vehicles don't have a dramatically shorter lifespan than their internal combustion engine counterparts. At the moment, the average new car in the US is expected to have a lifespan of around eight years, or 150,000 miles. Some brands, notably Volvo and Subaru, are known for their ability to soldier on long after competitors' models of the same age have bitten the dust. For an internal combustion engine vehicle with lots of moving parts that can wear down, that eight-year, 100,000-mile marker is about the time when your engine may need some major work or replacement. And in an electric vehicle, that same point is when you will likely exceed your car's original battery warranty. But while its battery pack may be less capable of providing its rated range than it once was, most electric cars are still very mechanically sound after this kind of mileage and could quite easily go on from two or three times that distance without any issues. And that's because there are a lot less moving parts in an electric car than an internal combustion engine vehicle, meaning there's a lot less that can go wrong with the drivetrain. Sure, some cars like early Tesla Model S and the Tesla engineered second generation Toyota RAV4 EV can start to show signs of noisy transmission after far less distance traveled, but for the most part, an electric car will be just fine and dandy long after it's rolled off the production line. Except for its battery pack, that is, which, even in the best case scenarios, will have some signs of battery degradation and need replacing eventually. I've covered battery degradation in other videos on this channel, so I'm not going to rehash the explanation here. But what I do think we need to discuss is the need for readily available battery packs moving forwards, at the moment, some automakers, notably BMW and Nissan, offer replacement battery packs for customers' cars which are starting to show dramatically reduced range after many years of hard use. In Nissan's case, a new battery pack of identical capacity to the original one is available for a hefty premium, five and a half thousand US dollars or thereabouts, or in some markets, you can buy a certified reconditioned battery pack for about half that. You can't upgrade your Nissan Leaf's battery pack, however, beyond its original capacity. BMW is different. It offers battery replacement and upgrades for customers' cars, meaning that you can upgrade the range of your BMW i3 to beyond what it originally had when it left the factory. Other automakers, though, for now, they generally don't offer battery upgrades. For an automaker, it doesn't really make sense on an economic scale to offer an upgrade path for electric car battery packs, especially when each make and model of vehicle is slightly different to the next. But just as an entire cottage industry has sprung out around tuning and tweaking internal combustion engine vehicles, it's inevitable that we'll see companies soon spring up offering replacement battery packs on out-of-warranty electric cars as part of a range of other services. In the hybrid vehicle world, we've already started to see this happen. There are companies out there who will sell you a brand new or reconditioned battery pack for your Toyota Prius or Honda Insight hybrid. Some will install the packs for you in a turnkey solution, while others will ship you the battery and expect you to replace it yourself, shipping back the old battery pack when you've finished with it for reconditioning. Because hybrid battery packs are a lot smaller than an electric car battery pack, however, the prices for such services can be as little as $1,000, right up to several thousand for a fully finished installed swap. In the electric car world, however, the price of lithium ion cells, which, while it is still falling, is still relatively high, means that many people just don't want to justify swapping out their car's battery pack for between five and $10,000 if they can pick up a new, longer range, more capable car for about 30,000. But again, this mentality is currently driven by people who can actually afford the latter and don't want to waste their money on the former. 
As more and more electric cars become affordable for more people, spending a few thousand on a new battery pack may be the only real choice a customer has if they want to continue to drive electric, as a new plug-in car will be outside of their price range. Right now, I'm doubtful many companies could make a living offering battery swap services for older EVs, but as the price of battery packs fall and the number of used EVs on the road increases, we're going to have to see aftermarket pack replacements become commonplace, or we're going to have to continue the current automotive trend of using for eight to 10 years and then throwing a vehicle away. In a world where resources are finite, I'm not sure that the current trend, both for internal combustion engine and alternative vehicles, is really sustainable. Are you? That's it. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.